Hi, this is Pete Lyons with Let's Play Salesforce, and in this Einstein Analytics video, we are going to be covering how to create a unique row identifier for any data set using the compute expression. Uh, so I'm in my data flow manager, and uh, this get opties node right here, uh, this could really be any input. We could edge mark an existing data set that doesn't have a row index. We could do this after a bunch of joins and different things that we do. Anytime before the register is fine. In my case, I'm just gonna pull in all of my opportunities to do this. Now, um, we are gonna be using compute relative, uh, which requires us to partition our data into different groups because normally this is intended for something like partition my opportunity history records uh, by the parent opportunities ID. But we need to lump them all together into one group uh, because we want to iterate through all of the records in that table and assign each of them a unique row number. Uh, so first, we're going to uh, create a computed field. We're just going to call it all. And the output of that is going to be all on a compute expression node. And this is going to give us one value that is common to all rows in the data set. Uh, so this way, now when we go to our compute relative node, which I've named iterate, and I'm taking that create group uh, compute expression as my source, I'm gonna partition by that field. This will keep everything in one group. Uh, the order by doesn't really matter uh, because again, we're just trying to create one unique identifier per row. Uh, odds are if you had something really good to order it by, uh, you would already have something that made your, uh, your data unique uh, and we wouldn't necessarily need to do this. Uh, so then under computed fields, by default, this is gonna be set to source field. Uh, so we're gonna name it row, we're gonna label it row and we're gonna change our expression type from source field to SQL. And previous function row plus one is going to be uh, our output, which is basically gonna say on this um, field row that we are creating, go to the row that you just, or to the record that you just processed, grab what its value was and add one. Now uh, we have a scale of two and a default value of one. Scale is a required parameter, but it doesn't really matter what we're putting in this. This is the number of decimal places. Uh, but we set the default value to one. So that means the first row is gonna come through as one. The second row is gonna be one plus one. The third row is going to be two plus one, et cetera, et cetera, as we iterate through the rows in our data set. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit save on that. And then I've got a nice register node right after that. Hit uh, update and run. This will take us over to the data monitor. And then we just spam that reload button. But it didn't take very long now, did it? So now I'm gonna go into analytics and I'm gonna look for the data set that we just created, which is nice and at the top right here. And I'm going to uh, group my bars by my opportunity ID. And for my aggregate field, I'm going to do the sum of row because this will give us a very clean visual uh, representation of the fact that we are in fact incrementing a row number all the way down to the bottom of our data set, 720, that's the total number of rows. And that's really all there is to it. So nice short one for tonight. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something useful. If you did, please like, subscribe, tell a friend. And as always, thanks for watching.